Heaven's California Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video and today we're jumping back on FIFA but no, we're not doing FIFA 17 career mode. Um, so, what's actually spurred me on to do this? Um, I've always contemplated, like, I've always been put off doing Ultimate Team videos on YouTube because, um, well, you, it's just kind of hard to create a series from it. Like, you've got a... I see some YouTubers, you have a, what have we had? We've had uh, Zerkers, um, Packed Out, you've had Mini Minters, uh, My Ultimate Team, and this year he's had, uh, I think it's like Hunting We Will Go, uh, and then you got all the other AJ3 and stuff doing, um, and Captain Tundra doing FIFA Bingo, and then I stumbled across 2Sync. Now, I haven't watched 2Sync in years, I watched them back when they were doing FIFA 13, 14, 15, and then FIFA 16 came out, and they just kind of, I don't know, they went to a stage where they just sort of open packs all the time, or the thumbnail was them always opening packs, so I was like, ah, oh, I'm getting put off them, because I don't like pack openings on FIFA, really. Um, but at the moment, they're just sort of doing what they do, they just sort of record what they're doing on FIFA each day, and they're... Obviously, they have game. They have. They can't just play a couple of games each day. Well, they can just play two games and up, upload that. But they do different stuff, and I feel that maybe this is what I should be doing because I have no, not no word of a lie. I've neglected FIFA so much. Look at my record: sixty-four, fifteen, forty-eight. It's not too bad. If I put a zero on the end of each of them, I wouldn't be too um, too bad. But uh, I don't know. There's things with FIFA that I'm not too keen on and uh, as I said by <coughs> sooner or later sometime this week I will have a, what I'm expecting from FIFA 18 video going out but um yeah seeing as I haven't played Ultimate Team in such a while I thought it's best yesterday to start it up and I saw um why I didn't play it for a while um I haven't played it since I got Overwatch I'm gonna be honest I haven't played it since then and um basically what happened was my Xbox, right, it is run on the Wi-Fi, and I always play, I actually play FIFA a lot in the evening. Now, I'm not sure if my Wi-Fi is on the same frequency as the next-door neighbours, but my Wi-Fi in the evening in this room sucks dick. Like, it's really bad. I'm the furthest away from the Wi-Fi, and the Xbox, it's got a good wireless card in it, but even that can't cope. So, uh, I started getting a lot of DCs from BT's Wi-Fi. Um, I mean, I got DCs yesterday when no one was on the internet. So uh, I think it's just the BT Wi-Fi and EA servers in general. They've always been one for Shaft and us. Um, the raging has kind of gone out. I don't really rage on FIFA much anymore. Because there's just no point really, is there? Um, but I felt that it was right for me to come back and see what I had. Now, I think it was about February or March. That was when I was just like, you know what? I'm not going to play FIFA anymore. I'm going to come on Overwatch and I'm just going to play FIFA, play by the next FIFA when it comes out. And I quick sold every one of my teams. Now, I had a decent team for the Premier League, Ligue 1, Calcia A, BBVA and Bundesliga. I just quick sold them all. I didn't even sell them. I quick sold them all. I ended up with like 80,000 coins. And I spent half of them coins on drafts. And then I had 40,000 coins. Now, I, I got scammed. For an Instagram seller, I was like, you know what, I've got spare 30k. Uh, let's try and get this duplicated. And he was like, oh, you're going to get 300,000 coins after this. And I was like, oh, yeah, chill, chill, chill. So he was like, yeah, you just need to buy these players and then I'm going to buy all of yours. And uh, yeah, no, he was, he did that and then he never bought my players. And then there, this guy bullshitted my way, his way through. And he's like, oh, that was my mate. So uh, I'm getting bullied. Like, fucking pathetic. Who bullies people over FIFA? Like, come on now. So that was when I was like, oh, fuck this. I'm just not going to play FIFA anymore. I came back yesterday. And I had to build a team for around 33,000 coins. And um, I still got quite a few coins left. I didn't spend them all. Because I had quite a few um, coins left. Now, this is the team I'm uh, rolling with at the moment. And it's, it's not a bad team. I had... Uh, I had Herrera and I had Torre. Now that was what I kind of based the team around. I had a lot of loaned players, but I bought them all in. I had, uh, I think it was Butland on loan. I had Ali on loan. I had Marcian on loan. I had uh, Mkhitaryan on loan on the right, but obviously his loans were out. 
And uh, the one position I'm still a little bit wary on is this striker position. Now, Divock Origi, I've had Divock Origi and I've had Zarate. Now, Zarate is boasting quite a few goals for me. 13 goals, 2 assists in 15 games. So, he's contributing to one goal every game on average. Now, I don't know if there's a better striker out there for 16k. I don't want to necessarily bash all my coins out. So, if any of you guys can help me and recommend a couple of players for the team... Then uh, also go ahead. There will be a straw poll down below as well. Seeing this is a new type of video, would you guys um, prefer to see more Ultimate Team videos for FIFA 18? Just me, just chilling on Ultimate Team. Because it's going to be, I don't know, maybe a bit easier for me. Seeing as uh, that would be something that might be a bit easier for me to do. Rather than stepping away from what I'd usually do on FIFA and go and play career mode. Um, obviously, by the time FIFA 18 comes out, I will have a some sort of job. Whether what hours that'll be, I do not know just yet. So uh, that could be quite interesting. Um, but yeah, would you guys prefer to see more Ultimate Team? Because I can easily just... I don't know, I'd say I'd stream it. Um, obviously, I'd see what the internet's like before doing that. But... Um, yeah, I think the Ultimate Team videos could be a bit easier. I mean, they're a bit harder to edit because <laughs> there might be a post commentary just telling you guys what's going on rather than that. I don't know. Maybe we can incorporate some Ultimate Team. I don't know. But today, we're just going to be... Um, just to kick it off, I don't really have much time on my hands today to do much editing um, because Wimbledon is on, and you want to watch Mr. Andy Murray do well in his first round game. So I'm just going to jump into online. Um, we don't need... Actually, no, I might put the headphones on. Actually, no, we don't need the headphones. Uh, actually, no, we might. <laughs> um, we're going to put it into seasons. I'm only in Div 4, because I'm like, uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, we got a few injuries to turn to. <laughs> Jesus. We got Martial and Ali out injured. Uh, knee injury. Do we have anything for that? Yep, we do. So Ali can come back. We got loads of squad fitness cards. We got friggin' crap tons of contracts. Like I just want to. Once I've got rid of all the contracts, and I'll be happy to be like, yeah, we can leave this now and wait till next FIFA because it's in this dull period. Like this period for a gamer, like my opinion, is so boring because you've had games come out at the start of the year. And then you have this dry patch during the summer. Now, the summer is when all the kids are at, at home. And then they start bringing the games out after E3, between September and December, when we're all at work. Or we're all at school. Like, people, when they take time off, they'll probably take time off over the summer. Like, if you have four weeks off, I'd probably just go, you know what? I'm going to take time off for my holiday, and then I'll probably take some time off around... I don't know, I might just go for a whole month in August. I don't think they'd let you do that. But, uh, yeah, we're going to do a completely live game here. Um, could be a little bit uh, boring as such, but this guy's team is quite a bit better than mine. <laughs> He's got that inform alley. That looks quite tasty. But uh, it could be quite silent. Um, but you know what? We'll uh, definitely try our best here. Looks like... We're getting some sort of audio through here. I'll pause that and jump into a party quick. Because uh, we don't want no person hearing what we're saying down the mic. I guess that's because I have the headset plugged in. Oh, Torre. Oh, it's Divok. Go on, Divok. Have a shot. Oh, close one. Close one, close one, close one. Head up. No. Oh, what was that? 
Oh, he's giving it straight back to us. That's a bad idea, mate. Oh, go on, Leroy. Leroy, go on. Oh, go on. Yes! 1-0. Fucking Leroy. Let's put some headphones on here. Let's put some headphones on. Turn it down a bit, though. Seeing as I'm at home. Alone for there's a door or something. Doorbell. 1-0. That's absolutely fantastic there. Awesome stuff. Oh. <sighs> I might try and put some music behind this or something because this is gonna be so boring to this, uh, boring to watch. But uh, yeah. Oh, go on, Divok. Divok's in some space. Go on, Divok. Bang! Ah, oh, he's got it. It's two 0 Yes, Divok. Mike, the striker for me isn't the most important thing. As long as they got a bit of pace and they can shoot. It's fine. Like, I look for certain stats across the field, and striker isn't the most important. As long as they got over 75 pace, that's fine for me. They got over about 75 shooting, that's fine. They got decent dribbling. Like, dribbling for attackers is important, just as physical, that's also quite important as well. Uh, this season, the physical stat has been rather important, just so they can hold the ball up. Can we play him, Divock? Oh, I think he's offside. He is, but Divock was no way going to get caught out there. Is he going to quit the game? He can't be. It's only 2 0. Like, he can't quit this early. Surely not. Surely not. If, if this is a fucking EA decent. No, it's not. Like, this is the, the least lag I've ever played. This is smooth. This is like career mode smooth. This is good for an EA connection. <laughs> Oh shit. No. Ha ha, Danny Rose, let's go. Ah. Oh, Butland, you fucking monster. Can we get a big board for Martial? We can, if he can take the touch. Oh, it's got to be three. Fucking hell, that's a save. Do you have a bang? Oh, Jesus, Divock. Bloody hell. Close. <laughs> oh, yes, let's go. Oh, go on. Oh, what? I wanted that to Sané, not bloody Deli Alley. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Let's get Sané going. Like, Sané's a freaking beast on this game. Like, he's so good. Like, I remember when he first dropped with his Man City card, he was worth, like, 20, 30k. Now he's worth, like, 2, 3k. It's a bargain. Players are so cheap at the moment. Because the market is pretty much, like, dead. Dead market now. No one's... No one's playing... No one's really... Everyone's sort of got their team, so... The market's not really fluctuating as it normally does. Ah. Uh, 
No. Mane, I bought the upgrade of Mane. I wasn't a big fan of him, to be honest. I don't know what it is about him. He just doesn't suit my gameplay, maybe. I don't know. But uh, he's still in, still on the bench as a backup when I've lost all my fitness cards. Oh, now we need some hold-up play with Divok. Oh, my God. That was awful. Oh, that's even worse. Oh shit, man, he's in. Bye. He's offside. Yes. We could be going into this half 2-0 up. That would be absolutely amazing. Ah, oh, that was poor. Oh, however, Dells is going to get it back. Can he flick it over? Divok. Ah. Oh. Do we just have a bang with Herrera? Holy crap, that was a strike. He's not bloody giraffe in net though, isn't he? Oosh! Oh! Martial! Calm down, big boy. Yeah, 2 0 at half time. Like, I'm quite a silent FIFA player. I won't get too verbal when I'm winning. Um, which is why the live game isn't the best idea. But you know what? The live game is it's decent. I mean, it's going to get me a decently sized video, get them monetization ads in there. No, no, no. But, you know, this this team, like, I don't know what I'm going to call the title, but if it is a little bit clickbait, then it's, if it's a title that I'm thinking I'm going to call it, then it's not as clickbait, because it's just kind of a, I don't know, it depends how you see it, I mean, oh, fuck, I'm too busy, oh, Bailey, I remember when Bailly was, like, worth a crap ton, now he's not either. Oh, go on. It's Sané. He's so much faster. Can he get part? He couldn't. Fucking small beanie dog got there. Uh, uh, Dali Ali. Where's Hector? There he is. Look how quick Hector is. Look how flipping quick Hector is. Like, he's going to... Oh, he's been done. Now we got ha. Oh, Winston Reed and Bailey at the back are a bit naughty. I'm gonna just say they're like very, very annoying. But, oh, he could have one. What a save by Butland! Like holy crap, Butland is like super broken. I don't know if he's as broken as he was, but back when the game first came out, like in the first couple months, Butland was like. You didn't need to waste your money on getting David De Gea or Lloris or Czech or Courtois, like the best four keepers in the league. You just needed your Stoke goalkeeper and you were set. Can we swap that? Nope. Oh, Torre, that was not good. Oh, that pass was banging though. Straight to Bellerin's feet. He's going to get a ball in. No, that pass by Torre, that's why I've still got him in. He's not the quickest anymore. And he's certainly not the stature the card used to be, but he's still a decent card. He's still that decent mid-tier midfielder that you can have in your side for very cheap now. I think it's like five or six thousand coins at the most. Ah, he's got a foul there. That's just because just Bailly Bailly is a bit too strong. Now, people have always questioned me on how I pronounce Bailly. I think it's Bailly because it's not Bailey. Because they don't pronounce it Eric Bailey on football commentary or anything. But whether that's... I don't know. I don't know whether I'm correct in saying... Oh, uh, now we got a situation. Is Divock even going to come and make a run? Or are we going to have to chop it and cross it? Oh, that's a good ball. Ali's tall. He should be getting his head on that. He's 6'2". Oh, da look at Danny Rose putting in a shift there. Holy crap. Don't know how he's managed to nick that off him. Oh. Divok. Divok, keep him on. Keep it. Yes, Divok. Just shoot. Ah, oh, Courtois makes another bloody save. Oosh. That's a lofter. Ah, oh, who was that? I think that's 
Toro or Bayi, one of the two. Might have even been Divock, I'm not too sure. <laughs> is Ali in? Oh, he is! Ah, oh, he's been brought down, kind of. He's bounced, ricocheted all over his ass. Oh, oh, he's tried to chippy. Mr. Chippy, oh, hey, hey. Look at Ali's precision part. That should have not been there. Okay, take my words back. Ali's passing isn't the best. What rating card will Ali and Kane get next season? And Ericsson in FIFA, cause FIFA 18. Because they had a banging season, all three of them. I think they should be a little... like Ali should be like 84, maybe. Like He's not world class, but he's not half bad either, is he? Ericsson, he could probably end up having an 87 rate card, maybe. He could even be any... Could be higher than Ozil. I mean, Ozil, does he deserve an upgrade this year? Certainly not. Sanchez, definitely, he'd be looking for an upgrade. Um, whether he'll get one or not, I don't know. I thought I had my phone ringing then. My home phone, but it wasn't. Oh, can we use Ali here? He's going to bang it across goal. Mm. Yeah, I mean, Ericsson could be higher. I should, for me, he should be higher. He should be the highest rated attacker. I'm De Bruyne, though. De Bruyne, he's had an exceptional season as well. So maybe we can have quite a few 90 rated players in the Prem. I don't think Pogba will get an upgrade. If he does, does he deserve one? No, he doesn't deserve a downgrade. Definitely not. And EA don't really like downgrading young players. They'll downgrade stats but they won't downgrade your overall like it just doesn't work like that EA EA are fucked up they won't like if it's a flop they'll give him a season with the same card I mean Rashford does he deserve an upgrade has he been any better than last season mm. it's questionable really isn't it oh what a block ho 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 yeah let's give that a cheeky throw out Oh, if Sané can make that pass, that was absolutely sublime. Ah, oh, I wanted fucking Divock in there. Divock. Ah, oh, baby, he's a gang old jock. Come on. No. Oof. Oh, that's a ball. Oh, look at Divock. He's running. Divock's on it. Divock. Shoot! Oh, he's fucking missed it! Oh, Divock, you plum. You could have had yourself two goals there. Could have been competing with Zerati. I've always liked Zerati in these games. I started liking him in FIFA 15. He was a non rare FIFA 15 was when I had my technique of having one massive tool striker, not so fast, and then one smaller, quicky, quicker, pacier striker. Next win. But Divock actually got man of the match there. That's not bad at all. He had three out of four shots on target. His best player was... Uh, smaller than Ali. I didn't really see his Ali. I don't know. His front face didn't really work. Did they even have any shots? Yeah, they did. They definitely had shots. That's why my coinage is so low. I mean, it's not bad, 500 coins. But my fucking DNF modifier sucks. But... That does mean that. So, um, I'm going to have a look at some strikers, possibly, that we can afford. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not sure what striker I should get. I think if you guys can help me out, then go for it, because I have no idea who I can get here. Like, I haven't checked in a while. Uh, we'll put it min by now, 5 Point one, because that stops all the shit that's coming through. We'll put it 15k. We don't like to leave myself with too little money. Uh, we'll search that. So we can get... Negredo. We can get Kane. Bardi, Dini, Gray, Lukaku. We can get Long. Fernandez, Olsen. Ferrimino. Shiru, Vardy, Remy, Nacho, Slimani, 
Lukaku, we can get Costa if we really wanted, but he's not that quick. Someone's put Torre as a striker, and that's a bit ridiculous. Sturridge is there. Sturridge is always a good shout. Ings, Vardy, Akaka, Perez. It's probably between... Remy's a good shout as well, though. His dribbling isn't great, though. Sturridge is always a great shout, but you know what? I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, maybe we just leave it. Leave it there. I don't know, but that's going to wrap it for this one then, guys. If you did enjoy, remember to leave a like down below. I'll give you a couple seconds now. Three, two, one. You best hit that like button if you did enjoy. And remember, if you're on your end here, subscribe. Comment down below what players. You see my budget, 16k. Have a look for me. What players can I get to improve my team? I'll show you the bench as well. Um, would you like to see any of these players coming in? Carrius, Valencia. I've got Valencia, got Cahill, Gay, uh, Barkley, Mane, Zarate, Stones, Montero, Henderson, Clichy. That's basically my team at the moment. And also, there'll be a straw poll down below as well for you to go and uh, answer some of them as well. Um, basically, it'll be just a quick vote. Would you like to see a video more like this where we play some live games? A live game, would you like edited games or would you like to just stay with the career mode? Um, thank you guys all for watching. Hopefully, you all enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.